Former EA CEO thinks developers avoiding microtransactions are the biggest idiots. Elden Ring continues to dominate the sales charts and we'll tell you how you can experience San Diego Comic Con right from home. This and more on today's Daily Fix. <laughs> A former EA CEO may need to stop doing interviews as when recently speaking about developers avoiding implementing microtransactions in video games, he called them idiots. In an interview with PocketGamer.biz, now CEO of Unity Technologies, John Ricci Tello, discussed the announcement of Unity and Iron Source's upcoming merger. The merger would bring Iron Source's monetization and marketing improvements to better assist creators through Unity's Operate Solutions platform. During the interview, Ricci Tello was asked about developers pushing back on implementing monetization early on in development, to which he replied, Ferrari and some of the other high-end car manufacturers still use clay and carving knives. It's a very small portion of the gaming industry that works that way, and some of these people are my favorite people in the world to fight with. They're the most beautiful and pure, brilliant people. They're also some of the biggest idiots. Some developers were upset by Richard Tello's comment stating the CEO is, quote, destroying the unity we all loved, or that it was a, quote, fairly dramatic of the bed, even by CEO standards. Monetization has become an important early focus for Unity, whose mission is to democratize creation by adding tools that allow developers to understand how to make games profitable. Versatella has responded to the backlash with a post on Twitter, clickbait, out of full context. Deeply sorry if what I said offended any game dev. Absolutely love the people that make games. Creative, hard work, hashtag Unity. Though the damage has already been done, many are now uncertain of the future of Unity in lieu of the merger with Iron Source that focus on monetization and the recent layoffs at Unity globally. Whether these events are indicators of a future similar to EA's controversial microtransaction agenda, one thing is for sure, many developers are already sincerely considering switching engines. Moving on, the NPD group has revealed that Elden Ring was the best-selling game of June here in the United States. In the five months since its release, Elden Ring has been the best-selling game in four of those months. It remains the best-selling game of the year. Bandai Namco and fellow Tarner should be very proud of the success of Elden Ring. Other notable changes to the June NPD list include Overwatch returning to the top 20 best-selling games for the first time since October 2019. And the big reveal of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth apparently reignited sales of the first part of the Final Fantasy VII Remake as it returned to the top 10 list for the first time since close to its launch back in 2020. You can find the full list of the best-selling games of June at IGN.com. And lastly, if you are bummed you won't be going to San Diego Comic-Con next week, don't worry, because IGN will be on the floor and in almost every panel to give you the scoop on everything going on. The biggest celebration of pop culture entertainment of the year is back. Welcome back to IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con. It's going to be great. Comic-Con 2022 promises to be jam-packed with exciting reveals. So thanks for having me. <laughs> epic moments. Now that's the way to end a panel. Fantastic cosplay and killer collectibles. A responsible adult expense. IGN has you covered with breaking news. There's more Marvel news that we're all very excited about. Yes. Panel recaps. We showed footage from the film. Holy <laughs> And the wildest, craziest, most star-studded Comic-Con live show in the universe. It'll melt your mind. Where anything can and will happen. This year's lineup is absolutely massive. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, DC Comics, Lord of the Rings, House of the Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ninja Turtles, Gotham Knights, and so much more. I forgot to breathe! IGN at Comic-Con. Don't miss a second of it. And that is your Daily Fix for today, July 15th. If you are a fan of the sitcom The Office, Lego's Dunder Mifflin set is now live, and you can check out what the 1,164-piece set includes. And just a hint, there's a lot. Follow The Daily Fix on Snapchat, download IGN on all the apps, and for everything else, just stick to IGN. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous. For a law to be born. Lord.